We're very, very lucky, Bobby, if you'll stand up, please. Uh, welcome today to the most special day for tennis. Today is May 1st, ten National Tennis Month, and we are going to celebrate it like crazy. Uh, I'm Tina Fermino, former president of, U of Laredo Tennis Association, and I'd like to introduce to you the present president of Laredo Tennis Association, uh, Gandhi Escamilla. Uh, good morning and thank you all for coming and, and sharing this moment with us. It's very special for us because uh, uh, the United States Tennis Association has designated uh, May as a Tennis Month, so we're here to proclaim uh, this month for Tennis Month in Laredo, which is uh, basically uh, a time where we want to promote tennis in Laredo. We want to grow tennis in Laredo. <clears throat> And we want to get all those players that had not played for a long time to get motivated and get those rackets that have been uh, creating dust to get out and play in Laredo. So that's uh, one of the main things for, for getting uh, ten Tennis Month here in Laredo. Uh, tennis is a great sport. Uh, we, we, it's, it's, it's a sport where we do a lot of exercise. Uh, and, and it's also for mental health. Uh, so for those of you that are very stressed or can't sleep, believe me, uh, tennis will help you sleep. It'll help you relieve <coughs> stress. And you don't have to go see Dr. Trevino for any medication or anything. <laughs> uh, it's a sport that uh, is very easy to play. You only need one, one more player, uh, a friend, uh, uh, a can of tennis balls, and a court, and you're it, that's it. We, and uh, it's a great sport that you can play year round here in Laredo because of our good weather. Uh, sometimes in the summer it's a little hard, but then uh, we're kind of used to that. So tennis is a game that you can play throughout your life. Uh, I remember one time I was going to, uh, I took my son to a tournament, and he was seven years old, and next to him was the 70 and over uh, tennis players. So you can see that tennis is a, is a game for a lifetime. And so we just welcome uh, all Laredoans to, to uh, learn the game of tennis. It's a great sport. Uh, Laredo Tennis Association is an organization that is, consists of volunteers. Uh, we're, we're all volunteers that help out uh, tennis uh, players. We, we teach tennis uh, to children in the uh, play days where they learn how to play tennis. We introduce them to tennis, and we, uh, we just want everybody to, to be introduced to that. Uh, we also uh, have tennis clinics where uh, we uh, polish up the kids' uh, skills to play tennis. We, uh, we have tennis camps uh, where we uh, have summer camps in, in Laredo, uh, several tennis camps, where we uh, teach them how to play tennis and, and work through their skills. We have uh, tournaments also, where we uh, raise funds for scholarships for the uh, tennis players that are seniors and going on to uh, uh, their college, and, and we help them out a little bit with, with uh, scholarships. Uh, we also have uh, other programs like the Stroke Survivors that I'm very much involved in and I like to help in because, uh, and these are the people and, and ladies here on my left, uh, they have great fun uh, playing tennis and, and just because they have a stroke doesn't mean anything. They really go out there and play and, and we teach them how to, how to work through the strokes and everything. Uh, so uh, Laredo Tennis Association, uh, you can find all the activities uh, in, in, in Facebook, in the website, or you can uh, just call us. Uh, we're in the, in the phone book and everything. So uh, Laredo, uh, get going. Uh, we'll help you to uh, find a court. We'll, we'll help you develop the skills. We're also going to be having uh, social tennis 
this is going to be for adults that uh, will, will uh, learn how to play tennis. Uh, so there's tennis for everybody. So uh, let's see if we can get everybody playing. Uh, yes, uh, I want to introduce uh, the mayor of Laredo, uh, Victor Trevino, that I have known for, for many years, Councilwoman uh, Melissa uh, Cigarroa from District 3, uh, County Commissioner uh, Ricardo uh, Jaime from Precinct 4. And if you guys will stand. We also want to uh, present uh, uh, one of our uh, board members, Jaime Don Juan, who has been uh, very helpful. Uh, we have our executive uh, director, uh, uh, Priscilla Herrera, and uh, who's Francisco. Francisco, yes, he's a junior board member uh, who is very helpful. He volunteers so many hours with the children. We're just very proud of him. And he already graduated and going on to college to become an attorney. I want to welcome uh, Bobby Cantu, who's a member of the United States Tennis Association, to say a few words. Thank you, Kanda. I too am gonna look like I know what I'm doing up here, Tina. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Thank you all for having me. My name is Bobby Kanthu. Um, as Kanda said, I'm with the United States Tennis Association, the Texas section to be particular. I serve as a community services coordinator um, for the USDA Texas section, and so my primary role is to cover the South Texas region and growing the game of tennis, so I work with lots of programs, including the Laredo Tennis Association, which we are very proud of and very um, humbled that they have you know, taken the time to grow the game of tennis in Laredo. I, too, grew up in the RGV. Um, I don't know, I grew up in McAllen, and I've played the sport since I was four, so I'm very, very fortunate to now work in the sport and growing the sport um, with the people that I've grown up with in the community that's given me so much. So. I'm just really proud to be here today, and I'm really proud of everything that Laredo has done. All the work that Tina and Gande and um, Priscilla and all the stroke survivors, all the junior board members, and just everyone here in this community has been really essential in growing the game of tennis. And we really have seen a growth in the game um, over the past couple years since COVID. So we're just really excited for this month and really hopeful that all of you who um, have not picked up a racket will hopefully maybe you know, this month, take the time to go out and pick up a racket, hit a few balls, um, and just get involved. It is a lifetime sport, so we are really proud of this. So thank you all today. Thank you. Uh, I know she went to mention the word COVID, and I remember when, when COVID was around here for two years, it did not affect tennis. Tennis players were able to go and play. We're 72 feet apart, so it's a, it was a great game for us even then. Uh, now I want to introduce uh, Ruben uh, Gutierrez, who's a stroke survivor, and uh, he's very competitive. You see that he struggles to move and stuff, but he's a great person. He's a great tennis player. And look at those arms. I played with him and against him, and trust me, he's very strong. Uh, Ruben. Hello, uh, my name is Ruben Gutierrez. Uh, I've joined uh, tennis way back in, I think it was 16, 2016. And it helps you, or it helped me move better. I can uh, have a, uh, an eye coordination that I need to, uh, I would move one way and I would hit the other way. So I never could hit it. I started off with a wheelchair 
and slowly progress in the Earth. And we've been, I've been doing this for, I think, what, uh, four, six years or seven years. And I've been getting better. I've been uh, the two, the two past, I've been the champion. And uh, it's hard. To maintain it because uh, there's a lot of people out here that are getting also better that I am and I need to get work, 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 work better. <laughs> and uh, I always go to market and go and play with the wall. Just hit the wall, hit the wall, hit the wall, that's all I do. But uh, it's been great. It's been, I've been, uh, Tina has been with me and she's been on my back all the time. <laughs> she tells me to do this, do that, and I always do it, but you know it You're a it, smart man. <laughs> <laughs> it, it it helps it helps me but be in it and uh, I don't know, it's just been getting better. And all the people that joined with us as we we I, well, I try to help them to be better also when they tell me, I don't know, I don't know, and uh, I don't know what her name is, <laughs> but I would tell her, just hit the ball, hit the ball, and I, I showed her how, and now we can, she can hit it now, and she is looking at me, and she's going <laughs> It's something that I, I, she couldn't get hit the ball. He, he couldn't do anything, and I helped her how to do those things and those 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 things that are just a little bit that we get to other people to to help them. That's what I do. But uh, I kind of get better every day. And there's a lot of mobility in this that I can move around better. And uh, I don't know. I think we're going to have another uh, competition, and it's getting tough now. May 13th, be ready. <laughs> They're coming we're, after you. <laughs> I've only been twice about Jesse's going to go there. I got Jesse, the one that I wanted to beat, but he wasn't here. <laughs> He left, he left Laredo and uh, he wasn't here. But uh, I always would like to be in the, in the tennis. I always want to be there. I always want to be there. And it's one of my, well, it's one of my favorite tennis to be in, uh, to be I, as I like to be in there more, and it's one of my best activities that I do here. But uh, I just want to want to tell anybody wanted to go come to play on this. On the 13th, they can watch. Yes, we're going to uh, have another one and see what uh, what comes up this time. Thank you. I have to tell you, he does a lot of trash talk too. <laughs> But he's always in the spirit. Uh, Councilwoman, do you want to come up and say a few words? Hello, so nice to see so many faces. Um, I think the, the beauty of what this community has done is not only promote tennis as a means for what we all should be doing, right? Healthy exercise, getting outdoors more, um, reaching out and and getting to know people we don't know through 
the love of the game. But the work that you've done to reach out to, a commu to communities who don't normally have the opportunity to participate in organized sports, who normally are um, left out and don't have an entry point. It's such a therapeutic game and it, it is so, um, uh, it represents what we have great memories in childhood, if we were fortunate, I suppose. Um, a game that can be family-centered, but that it also provides this venue for people to do therapy, to get engaged, to meet people, to exercise, and it's so important for them in particular in order to get better, to progress in, in um, and, I, and I don't mean, I'm not an expert in, in stroke survival or, or in the other, I know you've reached out also to um, the um, community that has um, mental health issues. It's such an important way to have an opportunity to do something that's healthy, beneficial, you meet new people, and you grow as a person no matter what level you're at. So I commend you very much for your work to do that, your dedication, and um, uh, I know everyone really uh, looks to Dina Trevino for inspiration in that, but you all also have been her backbone and her support and the work that has been done has be been because of you. So congratulations on that and thank you for continuing to support this important um, uh, opportunity for everyone in our community. County Commissioner, you want to say a few words? No. <laughs> okay, now we go into the uh, reading of the proclamation. Uh, Mayor? Back there. Mayor, your bill looks so good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, before we do the proclamation, <clears throat> just a couple of words. <coughs> it is a pleasure to be here in this important event to celebrate uh, tennis as a sport. We know that tennis uh, helps people in recuperating from strokes, and in general, it's good exercise. It enhances the use to be uh, better people to have a, a hygienic mind, a, a better uh, physical activity, and improves the quality of life here in Laredo for everybody. The more events like this we can have, the better. So I applaud these efforts, and I congratulate everybody for, for doing this. And with this, I will read the proclamation. Office of the Mayor, City of Laredo, Texas, proclamation. National Tennis Month in Laredo, Texas. Whereas, Laredo Tennis Association was reestablished in 1980 with the mission to grow the game of tennis in Laredo and surrounding areas and, become, and became a certified United States Community Association in 1995. 
and whereas the Laredo Tennis Association is a nonprofit organization with governing body for tennis in Laredo and the Laredo and leads the promotion and growth of tennis every year uh, at a level of play from beginners to adults. And whereas the Laredo Tennis Association proudly partners with the United States Tennis Association to showcase the importance of health, social, and educational benefits of tennis and make the sport available to everyone through the, its partnership with Laredo Stroke Support Group, other organizations, sponsors, and UTSA Adaptive Grants. And whereas the Laredo Tennis Association has contributed to making our community happier with a healthier quality of life as the growth of Laredo tennis players has increased in the past 20 years and is increasing by 80% yearly. And whereas Laredo Tennis Association, in partnership with the United States Tennis Association, has declared the month of May as National Tennis Month to promote more play days, clinics, and events to showcase tennis and spread the word that tennis is active, growing, and vibrant in Laredo, Texas, and helps players and non-players alike find courts and tennis opportunities. Now, therefore, I, Dr. Victor Trevino, by virtue of the authority vested in me as mayor of the city of Laredo, County of Webb, State of Texas, do hereby proclaim May 2023 as National Tennis Month in Laredo, Texas, and hereby urge the citizens of Laredo, Texas to gather on the tennis courts of our city and try tennis as an avenue for better physical activity, mental health, and fun.